Welcome back. We have birds in the house. Today's been going a lot easier. I'm not going to say that I recorded for 42 minutes and then <clears throat> the recording paused in OBS, which then corrupted the recording and I couldn't use any of it. But I am going to say that we've already done some stuff today. <laughs> So we came in today, our goal is trying to get our vivarium set up, and uh, I'll show you why. We need to deal with our snail problem. The, the green bar is something I don't want. I tried turning off the floating names, and then I can't see the names of stuff when I'm doing this. Anyway, so we want to get our vivarium started. To get the vivarium to work, we need an aggregator. Uh, an M plus aggregator, which essentially will move stuff around and grab stuff from the vivarium and put it into the things that we want to go into. To get that, we needed electronics. I didn't have electronics. We can't go into the water um, because... Sorry, we have a lot to catch up on. Uh, on the map, we only exist in the southwest island there. Uh, we are not allowed to go into the water even yet until the rest of the map unlocks for us on this roleplay server, which isn't going to happen until early next week. Um, so we had to find a way to get electronics. Essentially, we had to go around and kill some tech animals to get the electronics from them. So we did that. Um, I just finally got all the electronics that we needed uh, when I came back. We were, we were going around in our tech armor suit, we had a, a great time, and it's all definitely recorded and not corrupted and deleted and in my <laughs> recycling bin right now. Uh, we even went back into the Aberration Cave from whence we came, where we started. And while we were down there, we got attacked. And when I saw what we were attacked by, I was really excited really really excited and we ended up getting ourselves a max level desmodus named nadia named after my favorite vampire from uh we're gonna put all of nadia's stuff back in nadia there you go my favorite vampire from what we do in the shadows and uh i showed everybody how we make this amazing saddle that has 325 armor because i'm an engineer and all of that uh, is going to be in a future video um, once I rescue it from my recycling bin and uncorrupt it. Just kidding. That's all going to be deleted. But if everybody wants to know how that can be done, I can make more videos about it in the future. <laughs> really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Anyway, so we have a max level Desmodus because that's cool. Um, as well, we're on tech power now. I realize I'm going to have to re-explain a couple of things. Last night, we had one of the natives of Caracol, this planet. Um, it's C-A-R-A-K-U-L, Caracol. Like, you know, Caracol cats. <clears throat> um, one of the natives came over. And if you're playing somebody that's native to this planet, uh, the one thing you can't do is anything tech-related. So the highest technology you can have, I think, is a smithy. So we had someone come over and threw down like 285 elements in front of us saying that they had gotten it off of a boss drop and couldn't do anything with it. So they were wondering if we had anything to trade for them. So what we did is we made a set of flak armor like what I have. This is flak. Um, it doesn't look like flak because it's a roleplay server and we get to like put skins on our armor, obviously. Um, but what we do, what I like to do is with the armor, I keep it primitive, so I can upgrade it from primitive all the way to ascendant, but it makes it a lot more, uh, it makes it a lot more difficult to repair it. Not, not difficult, a lot more expensive to repair it. So what I will do normally is go to this little augment station, and these little augments can augment things like armor. And at every level, so like primitive, yeah, I can show you actually. So this is a primitive flak helmet. Um, say we want to increase its armor to 300. We want to make sure that there's only the one type of reagent in here. Then we select this and we augment it. And this is part of the fun of the roleplay server, right? So see now it's 300%. And then we can do the same thing with durability. And if the armors allow it, you can do it to other stuff like hypothermic insulation, hyperthermic 
Uh, the stuff that I have on currently uh, has bonuses to thirst, to water retention, oddly. That would be good for the world of doom. <laughs> anyway, so I traded him a set of armor for a bunch of element, and now we have element cooking. Uh, and now I can finally make my aggregator. We're still not doing anything big with our base. Not enough inventory space or weight. Why? Aggregator. Aggregator. All right. Aggregator's done. Heck yeah. Okay, now let's grab the vivarium. We can put that down and we can start getting fancy. We're not building much of this base because when the map does open up early next week, I'm going to go out and build a nice base and we'll get all nicely settled into the map and then we can start meeting the locals and everything. Mr. <laughs> snail. Okay. Vivarium has power. I believe we can actually change which island it is too because it is currently the island. Vivarium's crazy. Uh, change to Scorched Earth. Change to Aberration. They can be where they came from. Because they are all actually aberrant uh, snails. We'll grab the stuff out of there we don't want. Vivariums are crazy in that they're like a world within a world. Um, view generated resources. Actina paste, mushroom, green gem, mayo berry. Organic polymer, thatch, and tinderberry. Every 24 minutes. Okay. I love it. That's cool. And then we need the aggregator out. It's powered. We're going to activate it. Collection options. So, what do we want to collect from the ground? Uh, all poop. The things that produce... Gonna polymer and act oh, everything really. Yeah, sure. I don't have any of these yet. Uh, the ingots and the charcoal would be nice though. And from Vivarians, that's the important one. From the ground, actina paste. Owl pellets were not there. Sterile eggs, do I care? Yeah. And fertile eggs. No, not fertile eggs, because we have the hatchery, so we don't need that. Okay. Done. Distribution options. Poop to dung beetles. We don't have any, but yeah. 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 Fertilizer crop. Yeah. That's a beer bottle. Yeah. Metal to forges is nice. Upload to direct. That music sounded like it was coming from outside of my headphones. I'm so weird. Upload to dedicated storage. We don't have dedicated storage yet, so we might just have to deal with it being pulled into here and then me putting it where we need to we will be doing dedicated storage that's my first plan uh, one of the first things I want to make once we uh, move over to the actual base rather than our two plot farmhouse here I'm so proud of us <laughs> we've been kicking butt and taking names now we're at a fun, wonderful point. Oh, yeah. Um, so I guess a couple things. How Syntax does it. If you're liking the video, give me a heart and click the like button. And subscribe if you really like it. But the like button is apparently how the YouTube algorithm decides uh, whose video gets to be where. So you know, those like buttons are great. Also, you may have noticed we didn't go after Tropios yesterday. Uh, what happened there is um, after... We had that chat with Echo. Echo met with one of the primitives that was at her base and told them about the Tropios. They scanned for Tropios. There was a max level, but it was on the main land where we're not permitted. So the primitive, the native, went to go grab that one and got it. And it's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, we didn't go after them because of that. And yeah, I guess now we're just going around if there's... Uh, you know what? If there's any tech... I'm going to grab them. Though I'm not going to 
do it with the Desmodus. We could, I, like, the Desmodus, you only get uh, meat, blood, and spoiled meat. And we brought a chainsaw, so we're just going to grab as much as we can with the chainsaw from these tech things. Because we need the electronics, we can't get the silica pearls right now. Um, and we're getting into tech, so we're going to need a lot more electronics uh, sometime soon. But we can go around and check on, see how people's bases are coming along. The recording seems to be going well. Nobody in here yet. Still waiting to see if anybody takes that one. These little spots, the openings, are like, they're way too small for me. That's that's one of the, the big reasons why I wouldn't, or didn't want to go for that little rat hole there. Look at all the metal here! Holy shit! Wow! We need to get our strider over here. Holy cow! I did not realize we, we could have metal for days. <gasps> there are people. Good morning. Hey, Hazel. How you doing, Cyclus? Good morning. Good. How are you guys doing? What's that? Oh, well, you know. I went back to the Aberration Cave and I got attacked by uh, an old friend. <laughs> This is called the Desmodus. Um, they're they're good. They're very fun. Uh, they're they're vampire bats. So when they're attacking stuff, they can gather blood packs for you, uh, and they also gather uh, raw meat and spoiled meat really quick. And then they can make something called a sanguine elixir. That do? Um, when you're taming things, it'll give you an instant. 30% of the tame, uh, and then it can also help fix any uh, taming effectiveness that you may have lost due to whatever reason. Oh, that... hit you up for some of those blood packs. Yeah! Ah, fair. Also, you need them to tame these guys, too. I don't know if you guys are familiar at all with, like, how you how tame... Did tame the... How did you tame this one, then? Uh, so, pss, blood syringes... <laughs> Yes, yeah, you, you have to donate quite a bit of blood. Um, but yeah, you find one of these guys, uh, you essentially you poke at them, and they'll come at you, and they'll pick you up, and they will attack you and leech your health. And if you have blood packs in your inventory, they'll go for those first. Um, but that's that's how they tame. How many blood packs did it? So this one I thought was going to take a lot more than it did. It took about 30. And it was... Wow. It was like 130 years old. Yeah, yeah, that's... I thought, you know, if you guys are looking for something to do, uh, something fun, they're probably spawned back in, um, just in the Aberration Cave, like where we came from. Right. Might be worth looking into at some point. We were looking for a... I need another... Trap of... bird thing the tropia well we're looking for one of those too oh the tapiara yeah what happened to your tapiara i have one i want a breeding pair oh right yes 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 i have been looking i've not seen any good ones yet had a bit of a disaster last night what happened oh well I was, you know, going back into the, the underground to bring some things over. And uh, it seems like the overlord decided to put everyone to sleep without warning. Oh, and I see. I guess it may have, you know, rolled back. So I didn't exist anymore and lost everything I had. Ah, that sounds like a really serious issue, actually. Waiting to get my armor. I'm running out of this crap. Oh, so they couldn't make your amazing shotgun? <laughs> they, they kind of did, but this is what I got instead. Oh, the, the gold looks really nice. Yeah. So it's, it's 
It was a thing. It was a quite a thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, do you want me to get you a set of armor? It was the fur stuff, right? No, I had a. I was. I've been wearing a my hazmat suit, and they got it somewhat tinker with like element protection, but not with uh, armor or uh, durability. So wasn't fully upgraded. So I think Ben has it, and Ben's trying to get it fully. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I was going to make the same uh, offer. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I'm hoping they take care of it, but we'll see. I'm sure they will. They're really good about that, so. Yeah, I... I'm stuck I, in this crap until then. I've I've had similar issues before that they have had to deal with. Uh, they, will, they will do their best to get that all sorted out for sure. In the meantime, I get to look like an Eskimo. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is pretty chilly around here. It is, yeah. We were just up in the snow, slaughtering everything. It's a fun part to do. I'm, I've been going around slaughtering any uh, tech creatures I've seen. So I'm, I'm uh, needing, not needing, but I've wanted some electronics and can't get any silica pearls while we're here. <laughs> You can get pearls. There, there's actually a lake nearby with a lot of pearls in it. What? The other day when I was hunting fish. Yeah, it's somewhere that direction. And there's quite a few. Fair enough. Cool. Okay. I will I will check for that. Thank you. <laughs> I did not You're see welcome. that before. <laughs> That's You're fine. Welcome. Yeah, it's just, it's just a, a lake, kind of like this one. but um, So we'll have an abundance of electronics soon because you know we're going to be breeding and repurposing the unused wall offspring so we get a lot of electronic that way and metal yeah absolutely fair enough um i'll let you know uh, i'm definitely happy to trade for it too so it's fine uh H hazel stole your oil so <gasps> Good, because <laughs> I, I managed to get all my oil from the old base, so we're good. <laughs> you guys oh, feel free. We were just up there, and he's like, I'm going to take this oil. You only have one rig, right? I do, yeah. I, I can set up another one, though. Well, he misheard. He thought you he thought you said you had two already, and one was for everyone to use. And I said no, he said he was going to make a second one for everyone to use. He hasn't done it yet. Yeah, yeah, and then I realized that the, the non-tech is the one that everybody can use, so just whatever. Everybody use it, go ahead. <laughs> okay, fair enough. But yeah, we're going to keep looking for the Tapajara and the Tropio thing. Yeah. There was a 130 Tropio last night, and I went over there to get it, and it was like, dead by the time. Oh, brutal. Eh, yeah, if you get bored, if you get bored, you can get bats too. They can also stealth at night, and they uh, have a sonar um, to see like creatures on the ground and stuff. And I believe they have something called like blood vision. It is really weird. <laughs> we really should get one of those bats because I really could use the blood bags for. Well, you're gonna be the settler. You're the settler. I'm about to not be a settler. So you're gonna need them because you can make really good healing potions for creatures using blood bags but i think the good ones use like 300 blood bags potions. nothing even yes they do i've almost had gunner die multiple times is that all yeah against really strong shit though like that frost titan <laughs> hello hello, hello. Hey Echo, I just found something, you're gonna kill me. Okay, good, I got Oh, here's that Von Garum guy. Oh! We've been slaughtering everything to make them, you know, come back. Nicely well, done. If we find a male, we can breed them and you can get them too. Okay, well, if you're gonna be looking for them right now, we'll just stay here and not look for them. <laughs> uh, the only one, other ones... 
The only other ones I found so far were eight, like 18 and I've killed them well, already. Well, we literally have been going around killing them so they'll come back. So hey, we'll Echo, this one has a 45 melee. Wow. Yeah. Look up news is that if I find if I actually find we actually find a male eventually here, we can start breeding these things and we both get them. I can just make a potion to convert one to a male. Yep. I, I, forgot, I can do that too. Let me know when you have babies, yeah. I'll happily buy one. Well, see, I'm working with Echo here first, if she gets the first baby, so we both get breeding pairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's what I mean. When you guys have babies, let me know, and I will buy one. I, I don't think I've met you before, sir. No, I don't think I met you either. Jellybean. I've seen your base. Uh, yep, Jellybean. Also Sigmas. I'm Varric. Pleasure to meet you. My voice is a little cracky today. <laughs> Not a problem. I, I, I finally have met the blue-haired dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I was. This thing literally it, it started. It was flying above my base, literally above my house. That's very lucky. Right. See, what I tend to do is uh, I'll take a bite out of it, lead it down there, and I'll hit it with a net. Then I'll put a gates over it so it can't get away. Yeah, yeah, basic trap. You can do that with Quetzals too, Echo. You can actually net a Quetzal. Probably a lot easier than the layout. That's why I was carrying those net guns. They also do horrible things to shapeshifters. That's always funny. Yeah. We'd probably want to convert this one with the better stats over to a male, wouldn't we? I feel like they can't hear me right now, but I feel like Echo is so mad that this dude just can't show <laughs> too tropius. That's what we've been talking about. If we do this, days. we're probably going to want to convert this one to a male. It has a much better stats than the other one. Oh, those colors look so good. What are the numbers on the. What was that, Hazel? I was asking, what are the numbers? Let me bring it back in. All right, so, all right, so we have 27 health, third 25 stamina, 20 weight, 45 melee. And the other one? What was that? How about the other one? Uh, the other one. 19 health, 24 stamina, 22 weight, 27 melee. It was only a 90. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's bad. Oh, I feel bad for her. This was one I thought the 45 melee. Oh, my God. Why can't I get on there? Why, why couldn't I find on a wild Rex? The by force. Unfortunately, the only thing we can't leave this island yet, and the other only other good ones I've seen so far are not on this island. Yeah, we've been. That's what we've been going around to kill. I, I don't think we'll be stuck here too, too much longer either, though. There was actually locals. I have not seen the locals yet. I had a local drop me off uh, nearly three stacks of element because they couldn't do anything with it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I you did. The, bastard. I traded it for an upgraded set of armor, but yeah. <laughs> I did my trick. I did the primitive flak with the maxed armor and durability. Are you an engineer? I that I am. What would it take you to upgrade a mining drill for me? Mining drills take a bit. Um, if you bring it to my place, we can definitely check that out. Uh, I can tell you what it would need to be upgraded for it, and then tips are always appreciated. Alright. Yeah, see, I go, the issue is there's not, there's nothing of decent age on this planet. You mean this island? Yeah, everything's 
across the water. I forgot I had so there's, much there's, metal. There's, there's a really high age Oops. one, but you know, can't really get to it yet. Yeah, it's annoying. So annoying, but no, I'll keep an eye out if I find another. I'm definitely gonna be um making sure you guys get some eggs since we've both been hunting them, right? <laughs> Are you still going to be hunting them, or are you dead hunting them? Well, there's not much to... I'm going to start trying to kill a few of them right now because they're low-aged ones. I guess let me know when you're done, and then I'll go out. Alright. Well, actually, I'm probably going to see what there's on there, but I, I need to put the finish putting the roof on the like, workshop because it's driving me crazy now. He kind of passed out last night. <laughs> you guys want to come look at my decorations? I did some decorations. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to. Sure, why not? As long as you don't mind, I just leave my bat out. Fully, <laughs> but I got a lot of progress. Um, I made a lot of progress. It's not... Oh, cute. Yeah, it feels more like a home now. That's a hell of a couch. Well, we get a lot of visitors. Yeah, yeah, you guys always do. <laughs> and then I put a little outdoor area. Oh. No, I love the turret, but also where's the... Oh, no. No, where's the barbecue? <laughs> oh, I don't have a barbecue. <laughs> yeah, you see, if the gun gets hot enough, you can cook the food on that. Okay, I like Valak already. I, I said that if Caroline ever shows up, I'm going to be like, here, Caroline, have a seat right here next to the turret, you know? <laughs> oh, don't mind us turning right to face you. Ooh, open, open pit. I love it. Need some uh, sticks and marshmallows. Mm -hmm. I put a jacuzzi down because he likes to soak. I just like to perch. <laughs> Bird. You see now, you see that only Hazel gets in the hot tub fully clothed. <laughs> well, why do you, do you want me to strip in front of you? You're asking. Me. I'm good. I'm good. Are you trying to see him naked? Or? No. It's still just funny. So yeah, you, ha you have fun with that. Yeah, it's all for Echo. And then, Love these lights. apparently, the glass that I was using up here doesn't work for greenhouse effect. Because I glassed the entire thing with this type of glass, it didn't. No, yeah, you would need the N plus glass if you wanted to do the not That's greenhouse this stuff. This is not, no, this is CKF. Oh, it is? It's, it's oh. different. Yeah. It's different. Well, different. I, just, I just put greenhouse stuff down. So. Yeah, no, this, this looks good too. Also, good on you. This greenhouse stuff is a nightmare to fucking deal with. I. Uh, Went back to our old place and made it. We have a lot of crap. Yeah, yeah. yeah Funny how it accumulates. I just ran, I just ran yeah. through my strider through a bunch of crystals, so. Yeah. One of my striders is still in the hands of a local. Oh, you let the local borrow it. Oh. I I've, seen one before. I've got access to Vegas strider if you ever need it to, by the way, Echo. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we have two. So, uh, he is a settler now, but, um, but yeah, I let Jack borrow it, cause I know Jack. Yeah, fair. Yeah, it's coming along. Yeah, I, I love your base. I keep checking out your base, seeing how it's been growing. <laughs> I know, I need to, I need to do out here now, but. For the diving board off this end. <laughs> That'd be so fun. And he just demonstrated. <laughs> so, too bad we can't let, we can't load a person and say a catapult and fling them into the water. That'd be fun. Oh, that well, we could get some um, some monkeys. Can you do this? <laughs> it didn't work. Nope. Damn it. Me me me! I can fly. <laughs> I wish we could fly. I mean, I'm sure if you guys, like, flex your wings a bit, you could. 
<laughs> she got me now. No. How? Don't do it. We have a way. Come on. Uh, in one of the mirrors. Boom. I'm gliding around. Me just being a boring ass human. <laughs> yeah, this is what roleplay looks like. I got a fish. No, you didn't. You caught some dirt. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh. Oh, gee. oh, nope. <laughs> oh, there you got me. I've been going back to the entrance and whatever settlement they were trying to quite well yeah that's uh i've seen the terraformer building which looks spectacular and i think the big pyre one i keep seeing uh serene building that one so i think it's the engineering building but yeah it's looking really good oh she finally got me i caught a fish <laughs> good job big ugly fish <laughs> a blue-haired fish ow you bitch I caught a fish too. <laughs> I will shoot you. <laughs> Don't worry, I have something sharp. <laughs> yeah, release him. <laughs> I mean, a little jits. <laughs> I mean, it works. I'm free. So, if you're gonna go work on your base, we're gonna go out and hunt. To get more of well, no, no, if you find a decent male, because they got the, got the female here, can do all the good things with. Yep, I'll let you know. I want a Top Gun dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it, I promise. I need to fly to the danger oh, zone. <laughs> I, I love those things. I love the right, as soon as I saw it, I love the rocket birds so much. They're so good. They're so fun. They're so fast. I know Jack got one yesterday, because I told him where it was. So maybe he'll let me borrow it. Yeah, or we'll steal it. Just, just yeah. give me the word. <laughs> I will let you know. I have a feeling it's really pretty. So. Hmm. All right. Um, I'll go. Uh, and if I if I see any while you guys are out, I'll let you. I'll, I'll send you the info, the, the coordinates if I can find any while I'm working around. That'd be great. Thank you. Also, do you want the? <coughs> Sorry, cough. Do you want the blood packs that my bats currently got on it? If you don't need them, I could use them for sure. Yeah, I would only need them to tame more bats, and I've, I've got a good bat, so. Yeah, I would like to go get us some bats. There, when you go back to where we came from, it's the room with the big bridge. If you look up in the ceiling there, you should be able to see them. Oh, it has none. Uh, here, hang on. Uh, chill for a couple of minutes. I will go kill something and I'll come back with a bunch of blood packs. Okay. Ooh. Oh my god, it grabs so much stuff. Holy cow. Love these things. But I want blood. I'll get blood from this carby. I'm not leveling anything yet because uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I want to level stamina or health or damage or what, but we'll figure it out. Okay, I killed a carby, it should be good. What? 
I killed a, a turtle and it gave me 68. <laughs> Yeah, they, they do it real quick. You might want to get those in the but Yeah, the, the wonders of a bat. That being said, I'm going to go back. I got some base stuff to do myself. Let me know about those tropios. Well, do for sure. All right. Happy hunting to you both. See you later. Bye, Jelly Bean. Bye! <laughs> They call me Jelly Bean because I have purple hair and I have uh, cat beans for feet. <laughs> Only those two call me Jelly Bean and I love it. <laughs> we're going there? No, we're going there. Also, these guys can swoop. I should have told them that, maybe. They don't keep the speed like a griffin would in the same way. They can't glide at all. But they can swoop. <laughs> <laughs> Swoop! Shoom! They're very adorable. Anyway, for those that um, haven't seen it, that's what roleplay looks like on this server, where we just we have fun, we chat, um, we have the actual storyline too, but a lot of times it's more just kind of chill, like that. Huh. And again, if you're curious of joining said server i will leave uh, some information in the description but the server itself is called reclamation and it's a heck of a lot of fun um vivarium uh, let's check on them. See if we're getting stuck not from there generated resources not saying every 42 minutes maybe it's because there's lots of them which is fine i'm sure it's okay I'm sure it's just fine. Okay. Then we're going to throw all of our stuff away. And that's it for today. So I hope you guys had fun. Um, thanks for watching. Again, subscribe if you like it. Uh, leave a heart and a like. And uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Ciao for now.